everyone. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to Form Recycler, which is a great add-on to Google Forms where you can use questions from other forms that are currently in your drive um, by selecting them and then inputting them into that new form. So you can either choose to put the entire form and combine two forms together into one new one, or you can select certain questions and add those in. Um, as a math teacher, this is really great because sometimes we'll be using things like uh, more advanced equations that maybe I had to use um, equatio for, and it does take some time to recreate some of those questions. So this is a great way to reuse questions year after year when you're going back and modifying those assignments. So what I've got is I've got a couple of forms and I've got an adding integers form and a subtracting integers form. And maybe the next year that I teach this, I want to teach them together and I want to combine this practice. Now, one thing I do want to note is this is very simple practice. This is stuff that I give to my students um, that's very level one. And when we do things that are a lower level, so they're not as in depth, it's very skills based, they get immediate feedback. So that level one practice is not necessarily a bad thing, but it is important that if you are doing that in your class, they're getting that quick and immediate feedback, um, and that way they know how they are doing. So I've got these two forms, and then I've got an untitled form. And in this untitled form, there is absolutely nothing. I even deleted the default untitled question. But up in the add-ons menu, I will select Form Recycler, and I will select Recycle Form Questions. Now, if it's a form that you've been recently working on, it will automatically show up at the top here. But if it's one you haven't been working on for a while, you might need to go into the search bar and search for that specific form. So I'm going to start with adding integers practice. And when you click on this, it will start loading up your questions. It might be quick and it might be longer depending on how long your form is. Now, here is one really important thing to note. Um, for some reason, mine does not like it when I try to add everything in. So I did get it to work though, by just doing kind of one section at a time. If you can see, I have a section for gathering like information from students. So it makes it easy to grade and input those grades. So I'm just gonna start with those three first and insert those questions just so that it doesn't get bogged down. Okay, so that looks good. Then I'm gonna create a new section. I'm just gonna title that adding integers and again, um, maybe it's just my computer, but for some reason it did not like it when I was trying to add all of these things at once. But I'm going to go back to Form Recycler. I'm going to choose that same form and grab those questions now. And again, it might be different for you. It just, for me, it seemed to get kind of frozen or it wasn't loading all the questions when I did it all at once. So I'm going to take these five questions that I want to include and insert those into this form. And you can, uh, can see them start um, adding in right here. And it's that easy. So this saves you a lot of time. Now let's say that I want to add one more section because I'm gonna combine those two assignments now. I can go back up to Form Recycler. I can look for my subtracting integers one. And in this one, there's gonna be a lot of information I don't need. So I don't need to put in first name or last name again. I don't need to know about what class period they're in because that's already at the top of the form. All I need are these five questions to insert into our form. Now, the only thing I might go back and change, and this is really a personal preference, like if you're a little bit OCD like me, you might want to have these numbers continue on. You, you, do, you might have to go back and change a few things. Oh, you know what, that should have been six. But as you can see, it's a lot quicker than recreating the entire form from scratch. Now, these are very simple problems, so they wouldn't have been that difficult to recreate. However, if I had questions where I had put in graphs, or I had put in some more advanced equations that I had to create using some sort of equation editor, this would save me a lot of time because then I could just quickly add those back in from previously used forms. So this is a real short video just introducing you to Form Recycler. And if you have any questions on this, please let me know. And that's it.